I've seen some spectacular things on a paramotor, but this is... Just pumped to meet more paramotor people and get a flight in a really beautiful area. You can see it's been so cloudy today, but the sun is breaking through. Here we are right in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And the air feels smooth right now. We've got this pretty valley that we can fly up and have plenty of outs. Oh wow, what is that? Check out this sheer cliff. Holy smoke, I wonder if you could hike there. Wow, that looks so crazy. Let me back up for a minute. I had the opportunity to meet up with and fly with some PPG pilots. Our community is incredible. I got to fly with Whitney and James who are traveling to Florida. I got to fly with Elena and her husband all of whom are rock star pilots, right here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. It was cloudy all day, and the weather forecast flip-flopped from promising to unlikely all day long. As soon as we laid on our wings, it rained. But this is why you show up to the field, because you never know what's going to happen. And I promise you, this flight is worth the wait. How crazy is this? It does not feel real. I'm telling you, this one guy really seems to have a feel for the paramotor thing. I guarantee he could have a future in this sport. This is insane. I've seen some spectacular things on a paramotor, but this is right up there at the top. Holy smoke. Forgive me if I'm acting giddy, but I cannot get this smile off my face. How do I explain this to someone who hasn't been up on a paramotor? You know, there are often clouds in the sky, but they're thousands of feet above us. So it's a really special flight when you have these layers of clouds at different elevations and you can fly above them and below them and almost interact with the cloud. You get that feeling of movement and proximity that you might not otherwise feel during a flight. And of course there's the light. The clouds are dappling the sunlight and as the rays come through, it makes you feel like you're in a whimsical landscape. I don't think you could get bored exploring this area here so many different mountains and ridges and stone. I was a little bit timid today because I was having trouble climbing. If I come back and fly from here again, I'm sure I can do a little bit more exploring. But for today, man, that was perfect. Just to get up and see everything. and smooth air. Wow. Well, if you're gonna have one flight, that's the one to have. Just the sun and the clouds. Hey, I would have, I would have been okay with it. It was good just hanging out. Okay, so I was trying to remain calm and collected on this day, and I didn't want to leverage the name of a paramotor legend to promote this video, but I have to share with you guys here at the end. I got to spend some time with an absolute rock star in our sport. And all I can tell you is that beyond being a skilled and knowledgeable pilot in paramotors and other forms of aviation, Mark Honeycutt is just a humble guy, generous with his time, and I'm sure he's not looking for praise, but he's just one of the good guys in our sport. What an amazing flight. 
Somebody's thrown down over the airport. I've got to imagine that's Mark. Yeah, I really want to thank Mark and Elena for allowing me to come out and crash today. That was super fun. Beautiful location.